In this video, I will demonstrate the installation of PowerShoot Business Edition Agent on a Windows operating system. When the installer is run, all communication ports are searched to discover the model of the UPS that is attached to determine the version of the agent that will be installed. As an example, I have attached to my system at this time a Smart UPS SMT1000. For that reason, the Business Edition agent that will be installed is version 9.2 based on the features and benefits of that particular Smart UPS. If I happen to have a Smart UPS SUA1000 attached, then the version of the agent that would be installed would be version 9.03 based on the features and benefits of that Smart UPS. Prior to beginning this video, I have previously downloaded PowerShoot Business Edition installer from APC.com. I have also connected the Smart UPS SMT1000 to the system via USB. When I first attached the Smart UPS to the system via USB, in the lower right hand corner, I saw a message stating, found new hardware, APC UPS device. To verify that the system and the UPS are communicating, I can right click on My Computer, select Properties, under Properties, select Device Manager. In the Device Manager, I will see Batteries. Under the heading of Batteries, I should see Hid UPS Battery or APC UPS. Also in Device Manager, under Human Interface Devices, I will see American Power Conversion USB UPS. Another method to access the Device Manager is go to Start, Control Panel. If you've not done so already, go to Categories and change Categories to either Large Icon or Small Icon. Here you will also find access to the Device Manager. To run the installer, I will navigate to the folder that I downloaded to and double click on PCBESetup.exe. I'll now click Setup. I see that files are being uncompressed. These files are uncompressed in my system default temp folder. For more information on finding those files and how to navigate to the system default temp folder, please view the video attached to FAQ FA159703. I'll now click Install Product. I see that I have three options as far as installation goes. Install the Windows Agent, install the Windows Server, install the Windows Console. For this video, I will only be installing the Windows Agent. I now see a window that tells me to centrally manage version 9.2 PowerShoot Agent. I will need to install the Server and Console. I will not be centrally managing this, so I'll just click OK to continue on with the installation. I now see the welcome screen and I'll click next to continue. I'll now click yes to agree to the licensing agreement. I will be installing to the default path of C, program files, APC, PowerShoot Business Edition, so I will click next. I now see a window that asks me if I would like to automatically search all communication ports for the UPS. In a Windows system, PowerShoot has been designed to automatically search communication ports for attached UPS. I will click Yes to continue since I recommend using this feature. The PowerShoot software has determined that I have a UPS attached to a USB port. I now have a window where I need to enter the username and password and confirm the password that will be used to access the PowerShoot Business Edition agent. And click Next. The software is now being installed. Please note that PowerShoot Business Edition is a Java application. When you install the Business Edition agent, JRE version 8.31 is installed for Business Edition agent 9.2. 
if you would like to change the JRE that is being utilized by PowerShoot Business Edition at a later date, you can do that by downloading the PowerShoot Business Edition JRE tool from apc.com. I now see a window that it tells me that the Windows firewall has been detected as being enabled. The agent service must be added to the, and enabled in the Windows firewall exception list to allow remote monitoring and management. I will click yes to allow this. I will now click finish to finish the installation. The PowerShoot Business Edition agent is now installed on the system. I am now given the option to install the server and console. Since I only have the single agent and do not have a group of agents to centrally manage, I will not be installing the server and console. I will manage the single agent via its web interface. I will now click exit to exit out of the installer. As I mentioned earlier, when I launched the installer, files were uncompressed to the default system temp folder. When I click exit to exit out of the installer, those files will be deleted. Now that the PowerShoot Business Edition agent has been installed, I can access it via my favorite web browser, such as Firefox, Chrome, or Internet Explorer. The installer puts a quick link launch point in Start, All Programs. If I scroll down, I will find PowerShoot Business Edition, Agent Web Interface. If I double click on that, my favorite web browser will launch and I will be able to access the web interface.